Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, only relating to the camera. Now, as you may or may not know, the cameras on the S8 and S8 Plus is the same exact sensor as you find on the S7 and S7 Edge. It's the 12 megapixel dual pixel sensor. It's got an aperture of f1.7. And of course, it's got two nice technologies, the face detection, uh, autofocus, and also the optical image stabilization. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna let you know that it doesn't really bother me. It's a little bit annoying that the S8 and the S8 Plus, for which there has been so much hype, is using the same sensor as last year's S7 model. But the thing is, the S7 and the S7 Edge already have a world-class camera. Okay, so back in 2016, when it first came out, it was the best camera on the market. Then you had the iPhone 7 Plus coming out, you had the Google Pixel coming out, and they also had very, very good cameras. I would actually rate those three cameras as the top three cameras of 2016. The iPhone 7, not 7, iPhone 7 Plus, because it has a different camera than the iPhone 7, uh, the Google Pixel, and of course the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So the camera is certainly fantastic, but it has in fact been carried over to the S8 and S8 Plus with one improvement. And that one improvement actually is software based. It's called a multi-image processing uh, technology. So basically what it does is, when you take a photo of anything, let's say you're taking a picture of a dog. I don't know why you're doing that, but you're taking a picture of a dog. And what it's gonna do is, it's gonna instantaneously take three pictures of that dog, and then it's gonna take all those three pictures and it's gonna stitch them together. It's gonna stitch them together and it's gonna combine all the best attributes of those pictures uh, delivering you a perfect fused combined shot. So things that could happen with this is, it's gonna reduce blur, it's gonna increase sharpness, it's gonna reduce noise, and also it might increase brightness, so it might be very useful for nighttime shots. So that's called a multi-frame image processing. Now, I'm not gonna say this is a gimmick, because Google Pixel, last year's phone, again, is one of the best cameras in 2016, is actually using a lot of software computing to create those amazing shots, especially for low light. Uh, the thing that they use is called the HDR Plus. I'm sure you have seen how good the low light shots of the Google Pixel are. So that's that, but in the front side, we do have improvements. So the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge have a five megapixel uh, front facing camera. It's got a fixed focus and that's it. With the S8 and S8 Plus, they bump up the resolution to eight megapixels and they give you auto focus, which is, I guess, great for selfie takers, but I'll let you know, personally, I never use the front camera on my phones. I always use the rear camera, at least 95% of the time. I don't know about you guys, you can let me know in the comments below whether you use the front camera or not, as opposed to, in comparison to, the rear camera on your phones. I'm simply not a fan of taking selfies all over the place. So those are the facts. You know, the S8 rear camera is the same as the S7's rear camera, except for one improvement in the software side, which is the multi-frame uh, image processing. That's gonna help, help us out get better shots, but overall, it's gonna be almost the same. So how does this make you feel? You know, all the hype that we had on the Samsung Galaxy S8 largely was based on the screen on the front so it was the, the the height was concentrated on the front side of the phone with no home buttons you know an all body screen and all that good stuff and in that respect Samsung has delivered uh, perfectly you know they've got a gorgeous gorgeous screen there's no question about that and the phone itself looks beautiful there's also no question about that it's the best looking phone in the market Okay, and you can dispute that of course but in my opinion it's the best looking phone on the market but the camera barely any improvements so I want to know uh, the people that are gonna buy the device or people that were interested in the device to let me know in the comments down below how this makes you feel are you mad are you angry or you do not care now personally I do not care that much and that's only because the s7 camera already is an amazing camera it bothers me a little bit but not too much 
So you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, if you have any other comments, concerns, questions, just let me down in the comments below as well. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. I'm gonna be making actual videos with the S8 when I get the retail version in stock. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a fantastic day.